briefly, you at some point started to experience double vision and you were going to an ophthalmologist and you told the doctor that you were having some of these difficulties. So pick it up from your perspective there. Well, that's right. Well, I guess maybe we should go back a little bit before that. I had had monovision with my contact lenses for ooh, 10 or more years, maybe 15 years ago. I never had any problem with binocular vision before I had that. And then I started, as soon as I had the, I started very, you know, gradually. And then it kept getting worse and worse. And I would go to my ophthalmologist and I said, my eyes are not working together. And um, the one I was going to at the time just said, oh, or something like that. And then gave me no help whatsoever about it. So then I decided to go to another ophthalmologist. I, and I went to one that was highly recommended. And um, uh, then actually, uh, when I went to see her, I told her that it was, uh, you know, that my eyes were not working well together. And she didn't give me any, she didn't comment on it or give me any help at all on it. I went back a year later and had the same thing. I told her again that uh, my eyes are not working together. And she even said to me, oh, you said that to me last year. And I said, yes, I did, but nothing had helped. Nothing had happened. In the meantime, I was getting frantic because my eyes were getting so bad. Sometimes, I, sometimes as I was driving, every once in a while, I would just everything would go double on me. And I thought I'm going to have to give up driving if I don't, you know, do something. And then I happened to read uh, an article about Dr. Press in the newspaper, in the Bergen Record, and uh, it's mentioned doing binocular vision, um, the helping with binocular vision problems. So that's when I went to. Uh, to I came to see you and we went through vision therapy and it improved a great deal not completely I'm not completely over the problems but it it, it certainly I certainly know that I don't have to give up driving at this point you know it's uh, I have to um, so you you and I agreed that you've come a long way right. to sort of get over that hump or hurdle uh, we wanted to find out could eye muscle surgery benefit you further uh, and, and stabilize things. So uh, you in fact had a consult with a surgeon. Yes. And what did the surgeon mention to you? Well, he mentioned that uh, that I may or he that he who could do surgery on me and he can't guarantee that it's going to uh, be completely successful that it's going to do it. He said it might have something to do with my problem might have something to do with the shape of my eye in the socket which, for which there is no help. But he did think that um, there was something to do with the muscles, that he could do something, and it very, very likely it could be, it could be greatly improved. I and mean, he said it might not stay, but it, but it could be, it could be um, a big help. So uh, to wrap up the, uh, the concept, from a patient's point of view, uh, if you're looking at our field in general as ophthalmology, optometry, surgical interventions, not surgical, non-surgical interventions, what would be a logical way for you in your mind to say, now that I've been through this, the way the field should operate is, I went to an ophthalmologist, I don't know any better as a patient, what would you, if you could have your way, say, this is what I should have been told at the outset? Well, I should, some, the ophthalmologist could, could have said to me, there are people who do vision therapy which might be able to help you. But I never heard that from either of the ophthalmologists that I went to. They gave me no indication of that at all. I never heard of vision therapy. I would never have heard of vision therapy if I hadn't just happened to read that article in the health section of the Bergen Record. So in the future, uh, in the best of all worlds, patients like yourself won't find doctors like me by accident. That's right. That's right. Absolutely. Thank you very much. You're welcome.